when you see a box, you know we're doing a dedicated review. And today's dedicated review is Bond Number no. 9's Chelsea Knights. Ooh, I've been wanting to talk about you. Let's get on into it. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Lisa and Maria here. Yes, we're doing a dedicated fragrance review on Bond Number no. 9's Chelsea Nights. This is a fragrance that is fairly new-ish, but now, of course, Bond has released some more fragrances since then. But this one in particular, we hit the scene. It got a little bit of buzz, but then to me, it didn't really get talked about a lot more until about six months after the fact. And I think I know why, but we'll get more into that as always. When it comes to dedicated fragrance reviews, I rate fragrances by four categories. The first category being mood and that's simply how does this fragrance make me feel? What time of year do I see myself wearing the fragrance? What type of event do I see myself wearing this type of fragrance to? We'll talk about it there. Second category is strength and that's on a scale of one to ten with one being this ain't nothing but water in a pretty bottle to ten being a nuclear powerhouse juice that I'm gonna have to scrub it in order to get it off. The third category is longevity and that is how many hours long lasting is this fragrance? We're talking hours okay because that's very important particularly when we're talking about niche fragrances and we're talking about bond number nine <laughs> next up last category this is very important for a lot of people depending on the person but i like to include it anyway and that is is this a compliment getting fragrance and that is a yes or no answer so now you know how we do things and yeah let's get into the lipstick of the day today <laughs> lipstick of the day today everyone we went hot pink essentially that's what we're doing and this is an old color this is from mac of course i mean y'all know i always wear mac lipsticks and this is be silly now this was limited edition but as always i will link a alternative that is essentially the same color Details on the whole entire face will be in the description box below as always so you don't have to ask questions about it. <laughs> Next up we have fragrance of the day which of course when it's a dedicated review the fragrance of the day is obviously the bell of the ball and here is the bell of the ball in this video. Chelsea Knights. Here it is in all of its glory. Check it out. I will share with you all the backstory of this fragrance, although some of my OG L's may know it already, but I do have a lot of new L's, so I will share with you all how we got here. <laughs> so let's get into the specs of this fragrance. This fragrance was released in 2000 and 2022, which is interesting enough that is two years ago now. Like what? Time is really moving. This one was more of a, this was a fall release if I remember. Yeah, it was a, this was a fall release from Bond number nine and I got it in Bitch. They kind of nailed that one, but we'll talk more about that later. So the fragrance, I first smelled this scent in 2022 and it was October of 2022. Um, the head elf and I, we were recently engaged. And so we went on a trip to New York City to celebrate that. We were just living our best life. We were super excited. And I remember going to the Bond counter while I was there. Cause I mean, it's New York. I mean, I had to go smell a Bond. It just makes sense. Cause the brand is based in New York, Bond number nine, New York. Okay, hello. And I wanted to smell some new Bonds, of course, in particular this one, cause it had just came out this right here Chelsea Knights so I smelled it and I was like wow this was a love at first sniff for me. So that was that story. So smelled it, but of course I went home with other fragrances, which I've since shared in a video. I went home with a Wilhelm Parfumery fragrance. And I also went home with my first Guerlain fragrance on that trip. So this was one that would have to sadly live rent free in my head moving forward. <laughs> so eventually I picked it up um, 11 months later. I got it in September of 2023. I got it the week of my wedding as a little bit of a gift to myself. I got it the day I actually got my wedding nails done. So yeah, truly wedding week at that point. And that's when I picked this scent up. So I've had it since then. That's almost seven months at this point now. So I've had some time with this scent to say that. So this is not a first impression or, oh, I just got it. No, I've had this fragrance for some months. We spent some time with it. So I always like to get that backstory whenever it comes to these dedicated reviews because we don't do that. I just got it. I'm gonna spray it one time and review it and think that's gonna be a wholesome review. I don't do that. <laughs> So now let's talk about prices and sizes. So this beautiful fragrance comes in this one size right here. This is the box that it comes in. I always has the clear sleeve over it. And this is what it looks like. The box two toned, here's the back of it. And on the inside is really very basic to be honest, very straightforward. This is how your fragrance comes on the inside is what it looks like. And this is the 100 ml size. That's the only size this fragrance comes in. So it's pretty. I do like the colors. This is actually one of my favorite Bond bottles because it stands out amongst the bunch. And I gotta admit to me, I enjoy the Bond bottles because they make you want to collect them, especially if you're a person that has a collector bug, which I am a collector. That's kind of, that's the kind of person I've always been. So I like the bottles. Let me know, do you like the Bond of nine bottles? Do you love them? Do you hate them? I know people are pretty divided about that, but let me know in the comments below. 
So this one size again is the 100 mil size and this retails at this current time that I'm filming this video, which is April of 2024. This fragrance retails for $460. <laughs> now you can catch it on sales and discounts and things because again, it's not the newest mom fragrance. So full transparency, you don't have to do what I did, which was pay the full strength for it, but I just wanted it at the time. So that's what I did, but you can get it on sale or at a discount. I just wanted to let y'all know that. And as always, I will link where you can get it in the description box below as always. So now let's get into the notes of this fragrance because it's like, okay, the bottle's cute, the box is cute, all that. We appreciate the backstory, but what does it smell like? Well, let me tell you what Bond says it's supposed to smell like, but I'm gonna tell you what I get from it. So according to Bond, the official notes are, the top notes are saffron, cocoa absolute. Then we have middle notes of tuberose, myrrh resinoid, cedarwood, and oud oil. And then we have base notes of amber, vanilla, suede, and patchouli oil. That is what we are supposed to get from this scent. But I'm gonna tell y'all what I get. It. So let me refresh my nose on this one. <laughs> oh, it's like a good fresh spray. Phew. Yeah. <laughs> it don't take much. For me, I get the cocoa for sure. The cocoa hits you in the face to me. I definitely get the saffron. And I get the suede and patchouli in the base. Like that's what I get more than anything. Mm. But it's the saffron and the cocoa for sure that make this scent hands down. And the patchouli more so I get in the base and I get it even more on the skin per se. But main notes, saffron, cocoa, and patchouli is what it is. Mm. Ooh, I enjoy this. <laughs> So now let's get into the rating system because that's what we're here for. So let's talk about it. The mood of Bond Number no. 9's Chelsea Nights. Absolutely, the mood is actually in the name, to be fair. And they have nights in here for a reason. This is an evening scent. And in particular, this is a fall slash cold weather scent. That is what this is. I think absolutely the fact they released this in the fall was dead on, spot on. This shines in cooler weather. And then too, this is like going out scent. This is not a Sydney and Co cozy, snuggled in, it's not that kind of scent. This is the type of scent that when you smell it, it's like, okay, where are we going? So what's the move? What are we doing? So are we pre-gaming and then going out? Do we have reservations early? Like, what are we doing? This scent commands, okay, what is the move? Where are we headed? What are we doing tonight? And, in the, and are we gonna be out all night? Do I need to bring a pair of comfortable shoes? Like, what are we doing? This is the type of scent. Yeah, we're going out if I'm wearing Chelsea Knights, for sure. <laughs> Next up, the strength of this fragrance. Now, what is the strength? To me, this is a nine. It's a solid nine of a scent because everything in here is packing a punch. The saffron is gonna hit you in the nose. Cocoa is gonna hit you in the nose. The myrrh and all that is in there too, which myrrh, you know, it can get strong too. So yeah, and especially the warmer it is, the stronger this scent is. That's why I say this is one, it needs to be cold on. Oh, true story. I decided to wear this on a warmer day. It was like 80 degrees and I almost choked because I had sprayed it in like my cold weather type of vibe, how I normally would spray it in a cold. Weather. I can't do that. It almost took me out. It, it seriously almost took me out. So that's why I'm like, yeah, this is a cold weather scent and it's strong. So this is a solid nine. Now let's talk about longevity of this scent. Let me tell you something. This scent lasts. This one I get easily eight plus hours out of. Every time I have worn this scent, I can smell it on me the next day. I can smell it in my clothes and the laundry days later. It hugs some fabric and it also hugs some skin. So you definitely get your money's worth in that regard. I don't have to look for this scent and I don't have to spray a whole lot of it either in order to make it project. You gonna smell just tonight. <laughs> Now the last category is simply, is this a compliment getting fragrance that is a yes or no answer? And let me tell you, absolutely this is a yes. And the reason to me I'm convinced this one gets a yes is because this is a very unique scent. Nothing else in my collection mixes cocoa and saffron. So nothing else. I have smelled chocolate and other fragrances. You all know I've sampled other things, whatnot here on the channel, but nothing smells like this to me. I know sometimes people say, oh, Bond scents aren't unique enough or they seem more so mass appealing. Let me tell you something. This one is very unique. This is not a safe blind buy at all. This is one, I know you might like the bottle, but you definitely need to smell it first because of how strong it is and the scent blend in this one. This one is not a mass appealing scent. It is not. This is for the unique scent lover. This is for the person that's looking for something that they don't already have in their collection. 
that is this scent. And if you notice back during the fall time, you saw me talking about this scent a whole lot because that was such a unique factor that I just wanted to keep reaching for it. And in fact, this was the scent I wore um, after our reception from our wedding night because we hosted a get together at a rooftop bar and I wanted to change, of course, and put on something fun since we were hanging out with our friends and guests that had came in town for our wedding. So I wore Chelsea Nice that night, which it fit the bill and it carried a trail in the air. It was beautiful. So this one, it's a unique factor. This is not a bond you're gonna smell everywhere. It's not gonna be a mainstream or more so popular bond. So put it this way, you will smell Greenwich Village. I love Greenwich Village, no shade to it. It's one of my absolute favorites. You will smell Tribeca, you will see it. Those two you're gonna see. But Chelsea Nights, you're not gonna see it as often and you're not gonna smell it as often because it's more unique. It's definitely for the more acquired taste, that is for sure. But I love it. This is a love for me, not a like. This is a love and that's why y'all saw it in so many videos during the cold weather. But all in all, I think this scent was a excellent release from Bond for sure. Very happy about this scent. Again, it has a scent memory for me. It was a part of our wedding day, which was my wedding evening scent. So it's a forever ingrained in my head for that reason. And I think it was just a solid release. So if you haven't already checked it out, I highly recommend on your next Bond counter trip or if you get some samples one night, definitely check out Chelsea Knights because she's bringing the drama. She's bringing the main character energy. And also I gotta admit too, I wanna say this, this is unisex. This thing is unisex. It's unisex though, slightly leaning more so feminine in my opinion. I gotta be fair about that, but it is unisex. I could definitely see a man wearing this and it working well on him too. But on a lady, oh yeah, it's definitely giving man character. I love that. So let me know what you think about bond number nine's Chelsea Nice. Those are my thoughts on it. I'm still pleased with this purchase going on seven months later. I'm still gonna reach for it once it gets cold again. Right now, again, it is spring, we're heading to summer. It's too much right now. But once it gets cool again, you're gonna see her again. <laughs> <laughs> so let me know your thoughts on Bonnie Manon's Chelsea Knights. Definitely leave a comment below. I do. I will read them when I can. I try to respond when I can too. But until next time, I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye y'all. <laughs>